Thank you, and thanks for giving me an opportunity to speak. So, um, I, I think I will not simply repeat, you know, the positions that you probably know, at least the ones that have been the opening positions of IPA and STM. You're well aware of those, but um, it's interesting. I mean, the last two interventions, um, those very words could have could have come. Uh, from from within the stakeholders, the community I I represent, that you know, this is what we believe people want, and this is why we thought it was such a important principle to say, um, if indeed there are commercially available um, solutions, that, that this this uh, uh, space for the private sector should be respected, and obviously we have a different view how this uh, can be done or should be done legally. It seems that um, you, you rely simply on the, on the drive and the demand and the fact and say, but you know, we still want the laws in our favor on this. And that's simply, it's nice to know, but it's, I think it's a similar thing as, as, as um, you like an ena enabling environment that doesn't depend on niceties from publishers, uh, you want a uh, right and unqualified access to these works. So for us, it's a similar thing. We we essentially want the right to be in business. So um, and we have the impression that that's being questioned here in a very broad sense. Having said all of this, I think there is quite a bit of, of common ground, um, without you know um, so sounding completely ridiculous. But we we both want a treaty. Uh, we we both think that. Um, it must enable the exchange in an orderly fashion without being bureaucratic. We uh, have a, a somewhat different opinion probably on, on the merits of intellectual property generally, but are willing to work with the system to produce equal access at the end. And I think that's maybe a good thing that uh, that you have brought to the table at, at the white post door, um, but there there are, in, in our view, almost two treaties being negotiated at the same time. The one that I've just been talking about, where in fact we have very little quarrels with uh, your your positions, and the other treaty, the treaty that is is meant to um, be the first in the line of. Um, many that uh, chip away at, at the system of intellectual property that at least in, in, in my community's experience and that is a, a very diverse and fragmented uh, se sector has served it very well and there's very little to suggest that by jettisoning it we would be delivering more books into those bookshops in future that you also value. Thank you, Carlo. Um, I, I guess as a follow-up question to, to what you've just said about there being two treaties or you know, the statement that you made about being concerned with um, not being able to uh, you know, conduct the business that you want to, what, what specifically are your fears of a treaty for persons who are blind and, and giving persons who are blind equal access to books that, um, that has, caused, has caused the publisher's concerns? Well, I mean, specifically, are, are all the trappings, the boilerplate almost, clauses of, of uh, um, copyright conventions and that they are being kind of modified or try, try to modify them in some way or to qualify them. Those, so it's not actually about, if this was purely about the equal access provisions, it was a kind of a slimmed down treaty, things would, would have gone much smoother. Are there any particular provisions in um, in the consolidated text or the text that we've seen before that um, that you believe are the ones that would uh, that would um, either you know, change the IP system or um, chip away at IP rights? Well, unfortunately, I'm not quite sure what you know what will ultimately come out, but certainly what went in the many years ago. Um, into the into the into the initial proposal it didn't didn't look palatable when it came to those kind of um, clauses. 
we've, we have made some progress this week. Um, as, as you know, there, there have been some closing of brackets and some um, consolidation of the text. Are you happy currently with where the text stands? Of course, we don't know what the final outcome will be. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure it, it is really a, such a good thing to know for you whether I'm happy or not. <laughs> I, I'm, you don't want me to agree to anything. The question is, are, are my stakeholders able to um, say ultimately, yes, uh, you know, this is, this is something that we can be comfortable with. I don't think with, we're at that stage yet. I'd like to invite any of the panelists to respond to things that were said, and uh, in particular, Carlo and Panesh, they were the first two to go of the five remaining panelists, so they have not had the opportunity to um, kind of reflect and, and respond, so. Thank you, yes. I mean, a couple of things. I mean, the, the, the idea that publishers were in favor of, uh, um, you know, a role for the private sector is because we wanted to prevent library books from being um, lent to, to people with a visual disappearment. That, that's simply not the case. So if that was the, the stumbling block for you to kind of work with commercial availability, then it's a colossal misunderstanding. We really don't think that that's the issue of preventing people from going to a library and, and borrowing a book. But I, I think it's indicative of uh, having to look for now reasons to why, you know, what is not good about the current proposal now on the treaty in terms of substance. So you're going to audiovisual, you're going to lending. Um, ultimately, um, I, I think that this, this treaty is, as I said, is, is on, a, on the road and publishers have learned, you know. Uh, we, we did um, not initially think the treaty was the quickest way to increase access, um, but if you, know, if, if you see that the stakeholders really think that the treaty will advance access, then we have come around to accepting that and to try and work with that. We still think it's just one puzzle in a huge jigsaw, and uh, uh, you know, whether there is a treaty, no treaty, from someone's perspective, the wrong treaty, we, we will continue to work with those who want uh, to further access. 